Hi everyone, <laughs> trapped in the god Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Gucci Mane record, Everybody Looking. Gucci Mane, or Scoochie, or Guap, is an infamous southern rapper, Atlanta via Birmingham, and his career recently has been revitalized by his return from prison. In the 2000s, Gucci was one of the biggest to ever do it in terms of southern hip-hop and trap. But despite his massive influence on the new generation of up-and-coming rappers, uh, his influence among hip-hop fans was kind of waning in this new decade. Protégés like Waka Flocka Flame were getting more mainstream attention than even he was. He was releasing a lot of mediocre mixtapes and albums, some collaborative records that weren't very well received, some of which were uh, pretty highly trashed among fans like his collaborative V Nasty tape, or his one with uh, Chief Keef. And just before his most recent prison stint, he had a little bit of Twitter drama where he viciously went at numerous fellow artists, uh, many very big, very relevant artists. Uh, however, he chalked it all up after to his Twitter account being hacked. Not really sure if anybody believed that. So Gucci unfortunately left us looking kind of bitter. However, uh, he was still very prolific while he was in prison, releasing tons of projects. Reportedly in 2014, uh, despite being in jail, he made over a million dollars anyway. But the music industry has had this funny way recently of completely erasing and forgetting all of that drama, all of those kind of subpar releases in order to make not just a Gucci celebration, but kind of a Gucci reincarnation. Because between his new singles and videos from this latest record over here, this new Gucci main is trimmer, he's more stylish, he's a little more Hollywood, he's also more intelligible, and he's sounding more focused than ever. Especially with the feature list on this thing. We have Young Thug, we have Drake, we have Kanye. He could have had a lot more features on this thing, but he opted out of that. He carries the rest of the record himself, but of course not without a load of production from Mike Will Made It and Zaytoven, both of whom he says on one track, uh, he goes way back with them and he'd rather rap on a Zay track than a Dre track. The instrumentals on this thing, they are kind of glitzy, melodic trap instrumentals, the style of production that you would expect from Mike and Zaytoven at this point. Nothing really incredible or out of the norm or revolutionary about these beats, they just kind of get the job done. But Gucci doesn't really need an instrumental crutch on this record like he has on past material because, like I was saying earlier, he's way more coherent, more coherent than he's been in years. And he's a lot more self-aware on this project too. There are bars on here where he's talking about himself and he's pretty funny and clever. There are bars on here where he is diving into his past a little bit and exploring his rash decisions he's made in the past or just dark and horrible experiences that he's gone through. One track in particular, A First Day Out the Feds, I believe it is, he talks about his mom turning her back on him because he's done so much dirt. So not only is Gucci more coherent, but returning to society has given him something to rap about. Whether it be rumors of his label dropping him on the song Pop Music, which is a very strong, dark banger, definitely a highlight for me in the track listing. On numerous bars across this project, he talks about how he is a recovering drug addict, and that may be, in fact, why he sounds so clear and coherent on this project. There's even one line on here where he says that now that he's off the drugs, he is himself. He's him again. He also raps about how he's home now, like on the song Guap Home with Young Thug, which is actually a really celebratory track and another one of the best songs in the mix here. Young Thug, in my opinion, is probably the best feature on the entire project. There's serious chemistry between him and Gucci on this track, and stylistically, Realistically, they just support one another really well. The other two features, while Drake and Kanye are big names, neither of them really bring much pizzazz to the record. Drake's feature is just a really short, tiny hook on a song that should have been longer and should have had a Drake verse. It would have given it a good length. Kanye's verse, while he doesn't make a fool of himself like he usually does recently on whatever feature he happens to land on whoever's track because he's trying to just be so over the top and so ridiculous. Uh, he plays it reserved, but 
it's a little underwhelming as a result. Still, I do like his lyrics on the song Out Do Ya, where he's rapping about still making money and still being influential in the music industry from prison. And the song Gucci Please is essentially about women the world over just loving him and wanting to be with him. The l chorus is absolutely annoying, but uh, what he says in his verses is kind of funny. Now, even though Gucci is focused on a series of themes on this project, these themes, it's, it's not like there's that many of them. They do get exhausted, like on the song Back on Road, which seems like it could have been a really great return song, but Gucci instead just kind of goes back into his past and tells a grimy tale or two. Uh, again, a Drake feature, a Drake verse could have helped the monotony of this track a little bit. And sadly, the song Robbed, even though Gucci says explicitly in the song that he's reminiscing about the time he got robbed, is not really the strong narrative that I hoped it would B, especially considering the track comes from a place of personal experience for Gucci. The song also features one of the weaker flows on the entire project too. Overall, this project does have some good highlights and the presentation is pretty good. It doesn't really overstay its welcome either. The track listing flows pretty well. There's not a whole lot of fat or useless tracks, but in comparison to other Gucci albums, is only slightly more focused and ambitious. Some of Gucci's flows and lyrics do get kind of underwhelming or they're painfully basic, and not to mention that the song structures on here, if you give the album a few listens through, you'll kind of realize that everything's a little wash, rinse, repeat. There's not a whole lot of diversity of sounds and moods and emotions to the record. However, though, I did come away from this album hopeful, even though I thought it was just kind of merely decent, because again, this is the cleanest and the clearest and the most focused Gucci has sounded in a long time. If he stays on this path, I don't see why he couldn't be making bigger music in the future. Because while he's not one of the most lyrical rappers on the block, he does have a lot of personality to make up for that, and with maybe some slightly more interesting production and some better hooks, I think he has the potential to make an even greater record than he made here. I'm feeling a decent strong six on this one, Tran. Go Jay! Hey, uh, thanks for watching this review. Appreciate it. Uh, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Gucci Mane, everybody looking forever.